Hi everybody, as you can see, I'm not there. Yes, I'm explaining the surrealism, but it's not me, it's a recording of me. You can't argue with it and you can't shake this hand. That's the perfect example to introduce this movement. Like the famous painting La Trahison des Images of René Magritte. At first, it's obvious in its message. It shows an image of a pipe and then underneath the image it tells or reminds the viewer that it's not a pipe and we can infer the rest. Obviously, it's not a pipe, it's a representation of a pipe. And Magritte means to show us that representations are not the real thing. They only resemble the real thing. This is one of the surrealist first objectives which aims at the liberation of language. It is a questioning of its communication function, of its exchange function. The surrealist sought to channel the inconscience as a means to unlock the power of imagination, disdaining rationalism and literary realism, and powerfully influenced by psychoanalysis. The surrealist believed the rational mind repressed the power of imagination, weighing it down with taboos. The movement began in the mid-1920s in France, which included many artists, poets and writers who expressed their theories in their work. But the surrealist imagery is probably the most recognizable element of the movement. Yet, it's also the most elusive to categorize and define. Each artist relies on their own recurring motives, arisen through their dreams or an unconscious mind. At basic, the imagery is outlandish, perplexing, and even uncanny, as it meant to jolt the viewer out of their comforting assumption. The original Parisian surrealist used art as a reprieve from violent political situations and to address the unease they felt about the world's uncertainties. By employing fantasy and dream imagery, artists generated creative works in a variety of media that exposed their inner minds in eccentric, symbolic ways, uncovering anxieties, and treating them analytically through visual means. Oh, that was really difficult. So much vocabulary that I didn't know. Of course, the purpose is not to make a wonderful presentation, but to test our English level. And that's why we are here. Uh, sorry, I could not stop myself. Now Michel is going to speak more about pipe. Uh, Magritte. Uh, both. Uh, whatever.